Hello and welcome back to a Tabs update tutorial. Now you may have seen that Tabs has released a unit creator beta, but as you can see right here, it's just suggesting play and it does not actually have the update option ready for me. So what I'm gonna do in today's video is I'm going to show you how to download and install the new unit creator beta for Tabs, and then I'm gonna go into the game and show you how to create your own units and your own faction so that you can create your own awesome battles within Tabs. So from your Steam homepage, all you gotta do is click on library and locate your game. Mine is right here. All you gotta do once you've done that is right click on your game and click property and you will see this window pop up right here. Now there are three, four tabs rather. You gotta scroll along until you get to beta and you will see that it is currently on opt out which is why it's not updating your game. But what you gotta do is you gotta click this and scroll down to public beta. Now it doesn't matter about this check code bit here because it is not a private beta. You can now just close this and as you will see it's already updating my game with the new unit creator beta. And just like that you have now downloaded and installed the new tabs update beta and all you can do now is you can click play and load up the game. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take you into the game and show you how to create your own units and your own factions and then how to load them into a battle as well as test them in game. And now that you've loaded into the game you can see custom content down here is actually now an option so you can select that and it will bring up this tab where it says units and factions which you can scroll between here. Now the arrows on the side this would allow you to scroll through all of the custom units that you've made here and the same thing with all of the custom factions but obviously because we have just updated this new beta we don't actually have any of these custom units or factions but what we are going to do first is we are now going to create a unit. So now down at the bottom right here, you can see it says make new unit, which we are going to select and it will pop us up with this screen right here. So this is where all of the unit creation is actually going to take place. As you can see over on the left hand side here, we have base, we have weapons, we have clothes, we have stats and then we have save. So obviously, logically, we want to start with base. Now, if you want to select any of these to actually customize them rather than clicking on the name, which as you can see, doesn't actually do anything. You have to select the blacked out part right here. So if we click right here, it will give us the options we can get a normal guy we can get a skeleton frame or a halfling frame we're going to be creating some sort of military unit for this example tutorial so we're going to select wobbler now to change the unit's voice all you got to do is click on this right here and it will give you a list of all of the existing sounds in here it doesn't really matter too much we're going to click oh we're not going to click that one because that one is quite terrifying we're going to click yarl why not and once you have selected that you can then click play just to hear what you have as you can hear there, it's a slightly terrifying war cry, but we are going for a military unit, so let's bring that down on the pitch and see what it sounds like now. Even more terrifying. For some reason, we're creating a bridge troll here, but we're going to make him have a gun of some sort. So in the movement type right here, we have to have him as range so that he's not going to run directly in the combat. We want him to keep at a distance. Now down here, you can select enemy, closest friend, most expensive friend, and so on. But obviously, uh, that is for healing or different weapon types. We're going to be making him shoot a gun, so we want him to shoot the enemy rather than our own friends. And then just below that, you can see there's a selection for some riders. We haven't actually got a rider yet or anything in here. I'm sure that is something they'll be adding further down the line. Now moving over to weapons, what we do is we come up to the top right here and we select weapons. And as you can see, it has a main, it has an off. We also have the choice to go one-handed or two-handed and add some abilities. So what we're going to do is we're going to click once again this blacked out area right down here. And it will show you a collection of all of the weapons that you can actually get but if we scroll all the way down here you can see we start finding some guns and this is where it gets a little bit more spicy because we can give him an mp40 and we could actually if we really wanted to we could give him an m16 in the other hand which for some reason he's holding upside down but obviously if you want him that's he's going to be much less accurate and it's going to be a lot more recoil if you want him one-handed you could select uh, just two-handed right here so he's going to hold one weapon with two hands and i think that's what we're going to go for right here we're going to get an mp40 in one hand but what you can do is you can actually custom Customize that MP40 as well. So if I click on the MP40 itself, you can see it loads up right here. And we could move over and color and change the color a little bit, which I am going to do. I'm going to make it a darker brown, which as you can see has made the handle a darker brown, so it looks a little bit more funky. There's a lot of other bits you can play around with as well, but that looks quite nice to me. And if I come over into the stats, you can see at the minute it is shooting a PPSH bullet. So in theory, we could actually make this shoot apples if we really wanted to, but I don't think there's much point in doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to be coming right down here to find the MP40 bullet, and we're going to select that, and then once again, just press back. Now, once we're back here, we can also add in some special abilities to make him do some uh, some cool things but I think I'm quite happy I'm going for a historical military figure right here uh, and probably a German one at that so I think I'm just gonna leave these off for the time being but you can have a play around with them and add in whatever you want from down there now moving over to the clothes section you can see we can add 10 individual items of clothes right here and all you got to do is click add item and you can select head torso arms legs and feet so first things first we're gonna go into head and you can see once again you have 
have a massive collection of stuff that will update on the right hand side in real time as you scroll through them. But if we scroll all the way down to the... What was that one there? What is this? Devil's Horns? It's just not got a picture for some reason. If we scroll all the way down, right down to the bottom, you can see we come across some World War II stuff. And it is the... What's it called? The Stahlhelm? The German... It's actually not... I'm not sure if this is the German helm. It looks sort of similar. So that's what we're going to go for because we're going to be creating some sort of a German unit in here. And you can see already it's starting to come together. So we're going to add some more items in here. We're going to go torso. And once again, go all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to select... What's Go for a world war belt so you see he's got a belt right there with a grenade um, with a steel hand grenade or whatever it's called right here as well and he's starting to look the part and under the trousers section we are going to give him these trousers as well I think they go quite nicely with the helmet and the belt uh, and then let's see you could also if you really wanted to you could add in some boots right again down at the bottom if we go down to the bottom that's where the world war stuff is so if I select these boots you can't really tell the difference I don't think um, between these two here, but I could select those boots here and arms of course I don't think I'm gonna add anything into the arms because I don't think he needs them But if you really wanted to you could add in some gloves some like boxing gloves and all this random stuff down here But we're gonna keep that blank for now now I'm sure you've already spotted this test unit down here at this point It is worth testing him out seeing how he does in combat and see if there's anything we need to change um, now you could press test unit down here, but on your keyboard you can also press tab. So if I spin him around like this, uh, so that he's facing in the right direction, and then press tab, you will see who is he is against right there. It turns out the German soldier with a gun was against some farmers. Now at this point, it's quite difficult to figure out how to get out of this. To get back out of this screen again on your keyboard, just press tab. Okay, we're kind of happy with him, although I think his rate of fire and damage is quite low. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move over into the stats section down here, and it will show you the hit points, the size of the unit. So if we really wanted to, we could make him really, really small with like a massive MP40. <laughs> you can see it's basically like carrying a carrying a cannon down here, but we're going to keep him at normal size because we're going for historical accuracy right here. But what we're going to do is we're going to increase the rate of fire because the MP40 does not that slow. We're going to increase the damage massively, and then once again, you can select with your mouse wheel drag him around and if i press tab or this time i'm going to press test unit you can see oh wow okay the recoil got him at first but he managed to get back on the right path after that and once again to get back to the main page just press tab Okay, so we're pretty happy with how this guy is turning out so far. I'm happy with the statistics. We're not going to change these top four. We're just going to change the uh, attack and damage up to three. And at this point, you would move on to the save section. Now, in this save section, what you want to do is you want to give your soldier a name. So I'm just going to call him soldier. And then what you do, you see it'll give you a tick box right here at the minute. It is giving me an X here. So this is blanked out. It's not going to allow me to save because I need to take a picture of him. So basically, you select take picture. And then you can scroll him around like this. And we're just going to select take photo to right there and you see that is now his icon he's worth 260 points apparently and we could give him a description i'm just going to give him a description of soldier and once we've done all of that you can see right down here it allows you to save unit and once we press save unit you can see it takes us back into this unit page where it would show us all of our other units once again if you had a big collection you could scroll left and right using this the minute we obviously only have one but this unit currently is not assigned to an army so we will we will not be able to actually select it in battle so what we need to do now is make a faction so if we come over to factions we can come down here and select make a new faction and up here it is going to allow us to put a, 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 a faction name in so we're going to go for Wehrmacht going to go for the German military um, and we're going to keep the color as red because it feels quite appropriate. Now you can also click on this banner to select another um, icon. This is what we're going to go for. I think we'll go for that for the Wehrmacht faction that we've put together. In fact, no, we'll go for this one here. That one feels a bit spicier. Um, but obviously, at the minute, it doesn't actually have anything in there. So to add a unit into here, it will show you all your units down here. Again, you can scroll through them going left and right here. But as of current, this is the only one that we have in. So if we select soldier right there, you'll see it will add it in. And we have the Wehrmacht with a soldier unit right there. And now we can press save. Now it comes back onto this screen right here. You can see at the top left it is indicating that there is one unit in this army. It's Wehrmacht. It shows us our, uh, our logo and everything. If we wanted to go back in there and edit, we could come in here and select edit and play around with it. Add and remove. Um, units as we create them through this unit tab here. But what I'm going to do now is going to take you into a battle and show you how to actually place these units. So back onto the main page now. If we load up the sandbox game mode here, we're going to go straight all the way along to Legacy uh, and load that up. Now, as you can see, it has all of the faction lists down the bottom here, but we also now have plus, which is more faction. So if I click that, it's going to bring up a list of all of my factions. Now, you cannot place a unit until you have added it into a faction. Otherwise, it's not going to be able to, well, you're just 
just not going to be able to place it. So what you can do here, you can see it's a little bit confusing what to do with this. But basically what you have to do is you have to drag this up and you have to drag it between here. So I'm going to drag it right onto the end actually. In fact, it's going to auto locate it back to there for us. Can I put it there? There we go. I'm happy with that. And only once you've put it there can you then actually place it because otherwise it's not going to be available to you. So now if we go back onto this screen and we scroll along, you can now see Vermacht. It says Vermacht and I have Soldier and I can put down as many of these soldiers as I like and I can put them down on the other team. Now imagine the uh, possibilities for this tabs beta because you could basically now create World War II battles in tabs which you previously would not have had the assets or the units to actually do which i'm not gonna lie is pretty cool so if i now press play uh, and i let these guys shoot it out let's see we've now got some sort of germany versus germany engagement in tabs and as you can see oh who's our money on i reckon this is really really cool i've got to say i might have to actually make some seriously big sandbox battles so guys uh, if you have any ideas make sure you comment them down below because I'm going to be making some tabs World War II sandbox battles soon. Well, the Blues are the victors right here. But for some reason, the Blues have come from the Red Camp. And the Reds came from the Blue Camp. Because tabs, why not? But that is going to be it for this tutorial. So I showed you how to download and install that update beta. And also how to actually use the unit creator to create your own units and your own factions. And then place them in battles yourself. So if you enjoyed that and you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Please do subscribe because I'm going to be creating a lot more of these World War II engagements. Uh, and also if you have not dropped a like down below it'd be awesome if you guys can like the video because then it means it gets out to more people but most importantly thank you very much for watching i will catch you again next time